It's your girl Shalay and I'm back today with another stimulus check update video. In today's video, I am going to answer your questions. That is it. Okay, you guys took the time out of your day to submit questions to me and I told you on every Saturday and Sunday because usually the news is slow. I'm going to come back and answer those questions. Now guys, you can submit any question that you like within reason, okay? Let's be PG rated, all right? You can submit those questions and I will come on here and I will answer those questions to the best of my ability, all right? So if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hey, okay, hey, how you doing? Here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. My name is Shalay and I do a segment on Ask Shalay. So if you want to submit questions, click that down in the description box and it will go ahead and take you to the form for you to submit that as well as I would love to have you as part of my family like my internet family so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like all right now guys by the time you are watching this video it is already memorial day for you guys I told you in the last video so if this is your first time like catch up on my previous videos okay I will be back to serve you guys on Tuesday but I want to enjoy my family for Memorial Day. I hope that you are enjoying yours, all right? Put me a little piece of barbecue to the side, all right? And you know, tell your relatives, hey, okay, your girl Chalet is taking the day off. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into some of these questions and see what we can find and what we can do, okay? All right, so the first question comes from Anissa. And if I'm looking down, I have my computer here, guys. So that's why, all right? First question comes from Anissa, Anissa. She says, I'm my boyfriend's payee and we have not gotten his, his first stimulus check just yet. I can't even get any date or information on when he'll get one. It's frustrating. Absolutely, Anissa, Anissa. It is very frustrating. Now, according to the Social Security Administration website, the payees should actually get paid this week on May 27, 28. So kind of give it a few, you know, a few more days and see if it happens this week. If not, then we can reach out to the Social Security Administration or you can go ahead and contact them. And guys, let me go ahead and plug that in right now. If you are SSI or SSDI or even payees, they are stating a lot of people have received notifications that you should receive your money this week on May 27th or 28th. Now, before I get the tomatoes thrown at me, it's not everyone. Some people may not receive them. So, you know what? If you want to go ahead and call me a liar, go ahead and do it down in the comments. All right? Because I don't have anything to do with it. But on their website, they have it for May 27th or 28th. All right, so now that we got that, let's get back to our scheduled programming. All righty here. The next question comes from Wanda. She said, what if you moved um, from a downstairs apartment to an upstairs apartment above? You haven't received any check yet. Go to the office to check your mail from the other apartment. Realize the letter about your check being sent out on April 24th, but no check. When I asked the new tenants about it, they say they moved out. How can you check to see if they may have taken your check? Well, I just want to give people the benefit of the doubt. Wanda, let's extend that grace, okay? I doubt that they took your check because there's a lot more repercussions with fraud and everything, and nobody is trying to go to jail out here for a stimulus check. Well, maybe some people are but I'm not. All right, so if they state that they don't have your check, a lot of times your check could have been returned or you can go, on, if it stated that it was mailed out on the April 24th, contact the IRS and see, was it cash, was it check? But um, I don't think like times are hard right now. I know some people are about that thief life, but majority of the people I wanna say that, I would like to say that most people have that moral indicator that they're not gonna steal your check and try to cash it. I think so, right, right. All right, the next question comes from Donald. It has Donald, Brenda, and the line, and even Danielle. They are talking about the $250 stimulus check from Andrew Yang. I will put that in the description box below because a lot of people have inquired about the free $250 that Andrew Yang is giving to 20,000 families. That is his way of giving back for um, the stimulus since Congress wants to move their little pitter-patter feet. Okay, so um, I will go ahead and put that in the comments below. Now, with that being said, guys, they have already reached the 20,000 applications. They were only doing it for 20,000. But you know and I know, I'ma be positive on this. I'ma send positive vibes. Maybe they will select more, but I will put it in the description box for you, okay? Alrighty, the next question comes from Karen. She says, hey, I would like to know, they said I was approved from the IRS for my first stimulus check. I don't know how to finish 
her, if I did qualify, the IRS accepted something or another, I'm not familiar with about this. I have submitted the numbers. Give me a holler back. All right, so Karen, you had a lot going on with this question. I think you may have just typed really quickly before you realize what you type. Now, if the IRS said that you were approved for a stimulus and one is available for you, then it should be sent out to you. If you have yet to receive it or any documentation, if they have sent it to you, you will receive a 1444 that comes to you. And when it comes to you, at that point, it'll tell you where the check was deposited and what happened, okay? All right, so if not, contact the IRS all righty here okay so the next question comes from yolanda if the irs got your old info or if the irs got your info do you need to resend it again no if they have it you shouldn't have to receive it again like if they have it and they indicated that they have it you shouldn't have to do anything else all right here the next question comes from malika she said parents are getting food stamps for kids that are in school and other parents are not how do you go about getting it? Yeah, so Malika, some states have already just sent like cards out, like it's called the pandemic EBT card. They sent them out in certain states already to students that were enrolled in free and reduced lunch at school and they didn't have to do anything. The cards just came to them in the mail. They were already preloaded with anything from $285 to like $375. If you did not receive one in your school, your child does qualify for free or reduced lunch, Contact the school system first and see if there's anything. And even contact like um, child, not child and welfare service, but like uh, the food stamp office, the welfare department, or contact them and see if there's anything. Because each state was different. Some states you didn't have to do anything, and I think some states you may have to submit an application for it. All right, the next question comes from Helen. My daughter claimed me on her taxes in 2018 because I did not have any income, but now I receive SSI. Now will I be eligible for the stimulus check? So this is just one of those cases. If she claimed you on 2018 um, and then 2019, like I guess it would depend on when did you receive your SSI? How long have you been receiving SSI? I would direct that question to the Social Security Administration because sometimes, not all times guys, that um, if you were claimed as a dependent, you don't qualify for a check, okay? But because now you are receiving SSI and they are sending out checks for SSI, I don't know, it just depends probably on your dates, but I would contact the Social Security Administration office as well as the um, IRS just to confirm, because you have like a tricky situation on there and you did, in your question, you didn't put, when did you start receiving SSI? You get what I'm saying? So it's a lot on there. Alrighty, the next question comes from Stephanie. She says, I I love your show. Okay. Hey girl. <laughs> Thank you. Like I love it when you guys say my show because I don't I don't know if I think of this as a show, but Thank you guys, I'm happy. She said, the question is, I received $2,151 from the CARES Act, but was curious if I still file for the weekly unemployment. I did not qualify for unemployment due to an old, old work history, but I did file with my new employer when the first initially applied. So I'm confused why they sent me a form that had an employer from like eight years ago. I'm self-employed and my wages have decreased due to the pandemic. This is all confusing to me. I'm trying to do everything I'm supposed to do. Oh, by the way, I'm still waiting on my $1,200. I thank God for his blessings and for you. Please let me know if you can help out or not. Stephanie, whoa, girl. Well, one thing that we could do is touch and agree on that the Lord is good and just for his blessings. Okay, let's touch and agree on that. Now, you had a lot going on in this because you said that you see, received $2,151. Then in the next sentence, you said that you still waiting on your $1,200. What is the $2,151 from? What is that from? And then with your unemployment, you said that you did qualify for unemployment because of your work history, but then you are self-employed. I think like when it comes to the self-employed, a lot of times people have been getting reject rejected from unemployment for like self-employed gig workers, which gig workers guys are like um, Lyft drivers, Uber drivers, um, those type of like, they're considered what's called gig workers, okay? So a lot of people that were in that situation, even actors, actresses on Broadway, it was hard for unemployment to determine their work history because there was so much history and not much known on it and how to proceed. 
It sounds like you may be in this case, Stephanie. You may need to reach back out to the unemployment and to show them that since you were self-employed, this is where you lost hours, this is where you've seen a decrease in your business, and that you do qualify for it, okay? So I'm gonna say, girl, with the $1,200, reach out to the IRS, check the portal, okay? Then with the unemployment portion, go ahead and contact them and see if there's anything that you can do. Okay, the next question comes from Shalisa. Hey, Chevrolet. Okay, I'm a car now. Okay. <laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> hey, Chevrolet. Okay. Um, my name is Shalisa or Shalisa. I don't know. Here is the question that you may or may not heard of. However, I have researched and could not find the answer. I was wondering during this time, how do you know that they are still moving forward with disability court cases and other things dealing with the disability courts? At this time, is it on hold due to the pandemic? By the way, I'm in Michigan, love your videos, keep up the excitement. Okay, hey girl, okay, hey Michigan. Alrighty, um, <clears throat> now girl, you brutal my name, but we gonna, we gonna let that slide, okay? <laughs> Alrighty. So as far as the disability courts and different things that are going on, a lot of businesses right now are moving slow with the re-entry of reopening back society. I don't know for a fact that with the disability courts <clears throat> that they are just if they're backlogged from people that already had submitted cases or court cases prior to this, but I would say that more than likely with being out and off work for the past 30 or 60 days, a lot of companies are behind. And so that normal process that would have taken two months, three months now is probably going to take you at least 15, um, not 15, I would say probably six months. But you can always go on their website, you can email them and see if there's anything you can call because they should be open. And then just see like, follow them on Twitter. Every Almost every company now has like social media. Go look up, you don't even have to be on Twitter to follow someone. You can go Google their Twitter and see if there's any notifications. A lot of people are putting out things on Twitter, on Facebook to let you know their status and what they are doing. It's in the news, it's a lot of stuff. So I would say check there. Um, I'm not going to be able to like research on Michigan and what's going on here. Like, that's just too much. Okay. Alrighty here. William said, I am on SSI. Will I get my $2,000 stimulus check? Um, William, will we get $2,000 at? I mean, I want to know as of right now, and are you getting $2,000 because of dependents or what's going on? If you are on SSI and you wasn't claimed as a dependent on anyone's tax return, you should be able to get your stimulus. But I don't know about $2,000, William. You got to take that up with the IRS, okay? All righty here. The next question comes, it says, let's see here. We're going up. Moving on up. Okay. This question comes from the first name is Snap Population. Okay, okay, we get it from everywhere. Will there be a stimulus check for welfare Snap public assistance population? You never mentioned us in government. Forget about the real poor people, public assistance and Snap, not SSI, SSDI, people they pay. Please help us, we need to know. It's millions of us help. All right, so Snap Population. First and foremost, I try to assist everyone. It is not, I don't show favoritism for anyone. I just, the American people, as of right now, the SSI and the SSDI people, and even my VA people, they are some of the, they are um, the main population, a lot of people that need it, and they have yet to receive their first stimulus check. So yes, I have been looking and hunting down their information, and I'm saying with this with love, so I'm not upset or anything, like I'm saying it with love. The second thing is when it comes to welfare and SNAP and public assistance, I have put out several videos regarding that, so I will link them down below regarding. But on there, you stated, will there be a stimulus check for welfare? You should receive a stimulus check if you file taxes, whether you're on government assistance, if you met the income requirements. So there was issues on there. As long as you were not claimed on anyone's tax return and you filed your taxes, yes, you should receive your stimulus check, whether you're poor or not, as long as you meet the qualifications for it. So that is what I'm going to stake for there. And believe me, I want all American people, guys. So it's not just poor people, like we all here, 
Okay, for me, it ain't the rich, it ain't this, we all here. All right. <clears throat> the next question comes from Nancy. She said, good morning. I've been watching your YouTube channel and asking you questions, but you seem never to get to my question. My question is, when the, is the IRS going to stop sending out the stimulus package? I hope me and my husband get ours. We've been watching you since April 17, 2020, and the way your lips be on pop pop. <laughs> and I like your braids. You're cute, sis. <laughs> okay. Thank you for having my lips on. Pop, pop. Okay. That is super cute. And thank you so much for my braids. So, and thank you for watching my channel. Okay. Alrighty. So, Nancy, you said, back to your question. It says, when is the IRS going to stop sending out the stimulus package? I hope me and my husband get ours. So I'm guessing, I think you may have typed a little bit too quickly or when are they going to start sending out your stimulus package because they're not stopping sending them out. They're continuing to send them out. Um, but if you have not received yours, yours just yet, definitely contact the IRS at this point. Try the portals. If the portals are not working, um, did you receive a letter? Did you receive a 1444 when yours stated that it was supposed to be out in April? Did they send you something by now that stated where your check went? You know, so we have to remember these questions, guys. If your check was sent out, you should have received the 1444 form. If you did receive that form, it should have told you where your check was sent or what account it was deposited in. If it still doesn't, then now let's reach out to the IRS. If you can't get in contact with them, you have your senators, you have your congressmen, you have your news agencies, send them those emails. Send like, these are the people that we voted for. So you have questions, all right? Thank you, girl, for watching me since April. All right, and pop pop. That is super cute. I'm gonna keep that. All right, the next question comes from Let's see here, let's keep it moving. Um, Wilmina, Wilminia, she says, hey, you are doing a great job. We appreciate you and thank you. I am a nun filer, received social security, and I do have a student loan that is not in repayment status due to I cannot afford to pay them back at this time. I did not receive a stimulus direct deposit. Will I receive $1,200? Thank you for your time and help. Thank you, Wilhelmina for sending this and thank you so much for watching me. Um, as of right now, if you are a nun filer and you receive social security, and as long as you met those income requirements and no one claimed you, yes, you should receive a check. And remember, this is supposed to be the week that this is happening. Um, also, you do not have to pay student loans, but you do cannot afford to pay them back. Well, hey, depending on what may happen with these Heroes Act, we know that they do have like a $10,000 clause in there for student loans. So maybe the Heroes Act will pass and you will get the student loan. We also know that there's an upcoming election. Now, I'm not telling you to sway your vote on how to vote or who to vote for. Let's keep that, okay? I'm just giving you the facts and there are different candidates that are stating that um, they want to actually remove student loan repayment out. Is that true? I don't know. Is it going to be happening? I don't know. So this is the time where you do your research and the next time that you go to vote, that you make your voice heard, okay? So do your research regarding that, but you should as long as you have the income requirements. The next question comes from Desiree. Why is it taking so long for me to get my check? I'm gonna lose my home because every week it's like I keep looking forward to a check and nothing happens. Is it because I did it on TurboTax? Would you please find out something for me? So Desiree, you are not the first and nor are you the last person that had this. A lot of people that are um, filed with TurboTax, H&R Block, a lot of those different um, tax filing agencies, they have yet to receive their first stimulus. I'm in several groups on Facebook and on there, as of right now, they're still awaiting. I don't know what the discrepancy, the IRS is stating that they're working with TurboTax and HR Block and the Emerald Cards to get the first check out, but it does seem like it's a little bit longer. So at this point, I would reach out to the IRS. I'm sure you probably already contacted TurboTax, but those are gonna be the two people that give the information, okay? 
All right, and this is going to be the last two questions, and that's because, guys, um, I'm ready to enjoy my weekend, okay? <laughs> I'm ready to enjoy, and I will come back to you next weekend or even throughout the week and answer some of these questions as well. And if you see questions down in the comments below, help your neighbor say, neighbor, she answered that. You got to stay watching the whole video, okay? Or she answered that two videos ago, but be nice about it, guys, okay? Extend that grace. Be like, neighbor, this is what you got to do. So help neighbors out. All right, the next two questions are one is gonna come from Tiffany. And Tiffany says, my stimulus check was sent to another address and that was on April 24th. Now I contact the IRS giving them my new address, but that has been a whole month. So now what should I do next? As of right now, you have to wait for the IRS because you've updated your address with them and they're probably going to make you wait until they get to your check in the, um, in the rotation. Like they sent it out, it was returned. So you just have to wait at this point. You can try to contact them again and see if they can move a little bit quicker, but I haven't seen them move any quicker. And then the last question comes from Kaishia or Keisha. She says, what are they saying about child support arrears stimulus payments? I have two cases in areas, so I was expecting that. All right, so with the child support, it's back and forth according to the IRS website on there. If you had, um, just say if you filed you, your husband and yourself and your husband owed child support and you owe child support, they unfortunately took the whole payment. And if they took the whole payment, now the IRS is working to try to get at least half the money back or what was supposed to be the other spouse um, portion of it. How long is that gonna take? I don't know. But they are stating they did address that. Now, if you are the person on the opposite end, like, hey, they took your husband or your children's father's payment and that child support is supposed to come to you because they took their um, their stimulus and you're supposed to receive it. In some states, it was stating that they're going to wait 30 to 60 days, that the payment that they recouped from, just say, the mail, they took his money because he owed you child support. They're going to hold it for 30 or 60 days and then they're going to send it out. Each state is different. I can't give you an answer. I don't know which end of the spectrum are you on. Are you on that you're waiting for your payment to come from your children's father or vice versa? Or are you worried that your payment has been taken because of this and you want it back to you? So either way, on the first way, if it's been taken and you want it back, IRS website, the frequently asked questions. On the opposite end, if you are wanting your money because you get that from child support, that's the opposite end. You have to check with your state and see when you're going to receive the money. So that's what I have for the questions, guys. Thank you so much for continuing to submit the questions to me. I am ready to close. I'm closing my computer. I am ready to enjoy myself. I hope you guys have a wonderful um, a Memorial Day. Let's kind of, you know what, take this day not to really think about stimulus. Have a good time. Enjoy your family. Be safe. Wear those masks, okay? <laughs> Let's keep this, this pandemic down. Let's not spread it. Wear those masks and I will be back to you guys on Tuesday. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and ready to fight the good old fight with you. Please like, comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel today, okay? You guys have a great day. Bye.